That day has arrived again. All you need to say, the Michigan Wolverines against the Ohio State Buckeyes. The Michigan Wolverines and Ohio State Buckeyes meet today for the 102nd time. Chad Henney leads the charge for the resurgent Wolverines. And the Mays and Blue Faithful know that a win today keeps their Big Ten title hopes alive. But electrifying playmaker Ted Ginn Jr. has the scarlet and gray playing inspired football. And if they win, a BCS berth is well within reach. It's one of the greatest rivalries in all of sports. Next on ABC. We welcome you to the BCS Spotlight Game presented by ADT, Ohio State and Michigan. The Big Ten standings tell you the story. Again, a lot at stake. Penn State controls its own destiny. And at 4 o'clock on ESPN, they'll tee it up, up the road at East Lansing against the Michigan State Spartans. Ross Ryan with the ball on the tee. And now, Holmes drops back deep with him, and that is exactly what Carr wanted. Three wide receivers. Holmes is the slot to Troy Smith's left. And Pittman is stopped by number 80. And Alan Branch from Rio Rancho, New Mexico, who's had a huge year, makes the first stop. The Crestor starting lineup. Ted Ginn, we've mentioned. Stan White, the fullback, when they use one. Marcel Frost has stepped in as the starting tight end. And San Antonio Holmes against these three linebackers. 4-3 a lot today for Michigan. Prescott Burgess, Dave Harris, and Chris Graham. Graham will come out with the nickel man. Hall, Berenger, Engelman, and Grant Mason. Leon Hall, number 29, a very talented corner with his hands full today against the Buckeye speed. Second down and 14 after the four yard loss. Now Pittman comes out as a wide receiver. Offensive line holds. Branch comes free and complete. And it was defended by the nickel man over there, Morgan Trent. Now the battle in the trenches between the big fellas, Dadish, Sims, Mangold, Downing. Barton, of course, returned as a full-time starter a couple games ago. Against Massey Watson, Big Dave Watson, Branch, and Lamar Woodley. They're going to put Lamar Woodley down. He uh, played a handful of plays last week in that route of Indiana. They certainly need him. He's on the right side of that defensive front. And they'll put him down. Now it's third down. Frost goes past Mangold. Throws Santonio Holmes. And he caught it. Just defensive coordinator Jim Herman thinks Santonio Holmes is the best athlete on this offense. Run all the way, option look. Again, and there's a penalty flag thrown on the play as Ginn cuts it back. Short of the 40-yard line, but a flag thrown by the referee. It's holding against the Buckeyes. Play fake by Smith, and on the move, hits Ginn. And he is out of bounds on the near side. Going to the extra tight end, Pittman slices. Troy Smith calmly leading this first series. Flares again. Running room to the 42-yard line. The backfield, five wide outs. Roy Hall on the field. Quarterback draw off that formation. And the Wolverines were ready for it to the left. Pittman's the running back. Pittman in that direction. Another first down. <laughs> they move Tyree, a little confused. White gets him down on the right side of the formation. They run the draw with Pittman. And the middle of the Wolverine front holds of the offense. White, the fullback, is an H-back. Drops it to Pittman beautifully. Third down and short. Troy, a very dangerous runner, is the long running back. He's going to throw. And Hall's got it inside the 15. Dives to the 10-yard line. 39%. Touchdowns in the red zone. Here's Pittman. Bounces this to the left side. And he's to the four-yard line. This is the opening drive of the game. Run all the way. Touchdown. Troy Smith again takes it into the end zone. 
That was his ball all the way. No question about it. And there is an 80 yard drive into the wind. Troy Smith going very well. He was five of six on the drive and ran it in for the score. With the option call on the goal line, read perfectly by Troy to the outside of the formation. Willis Berenger, number 19, came on the blitz. Troy Smith saw it, ducked up inside for an easy option run by the quarterback. That's the 11th touchdown he scored this year. Houston pulled that extra point a little bit. No good. And no good. And I won't say it, but you know what it means when you start missing extra points. And the ball on the tee, into that breeze. Strong leg deep to the end zone. It'll come out on the 20 yard line. Rustin 15 is off to Henny's left on first down. Here comes number 20, picks his daylight and gains three. He'll, and there is a penalty flag. Yep. So the youngster, Laronitis, forced to replace the injured Carpenter right now. Second down after the penalty. Both. Complete to Breston. Preston working against Everett makes his way back to the original starting lineup. And it is the Questor starting lineup for the Wolverine. So we mentioned Hart and Preston. Tim Massacourt playing without the cast, number 88. Jason Avan from uh, Chicago. He's been their leading receiver. Carpenter is now out. And Schlegel and A.J. Hawk. And Yabodi, Sally Mitchell will come in as the nickel. Dante Whitner and Tyler Everett and Carpenter receiving treatment over on the side. Here it's now second down and 10. Let's look. Avant in motion to the right of the formation. Complete to him, but only for about three yards. So it'll be third down and seven. Coming up for Henny and this Buckeye defense Gary, doesn't give you a lot of time. Hard for them to go downfield. Stenovich, Hennigy, Beal is the center here today. Lentz and Jake Long, who Gary mentioned the best linemen against David Patterson, Marcus Green, Gwen Pitcock, and Mike Kudla. Kudla, a very valuable member of that uh, defensive line. He can. Henny against the Whitner Blitz, throws sideline, Manningham, got it. Two tight ends on the field. Ecker, Masakoy, play fake by Henny, sets the screen, here comes Hart. Dashes across midfield for another Wolverine. First down with Nate Sally and he exchanging words. Antonio Bass is into the backfield right next to Henny. They're going to flare it to him and he drops it. Has to pounce on it just in case it was a lateral. On second down. They'll run hard into the teeth. Sequoia is lined up on the left side. Terrific pass receiving tight end. Breston comes in motion to the left. Henny, though, is looking right, throwing in that direction. And he has got the crossing tight end. Henny off that play fake. Tries to freeze the linebacker. Steps away from Everett. Takes off and gets back to the line of scrimmage. He had a handful of plays against Indiana. They show the end around this time. Here's Manningham. He is tripped up. Wolverines need nine yards to keep this alive. Four down linemen for the Bucks. To the middle and short of the first down. Here comes a fourth down decision. And here's your fourth down now with Henny. Hart's the running back. They're going to try to throw for it. Snap high. Incomplete Buckeye football of the defensive line. Ginn is well off to the left. Offensive line giving Smith a look. They put Frost first drive of the game and missing the extra point. Leaded by six. Here comes Antonio Pittman. And Pittman breaks the first tackle from a safety. But it is third down and short. Branches over on the left of the defensive front. Woodley trying to get there. They throw it again for the first down. Nickel man checks in for the Wolverines. They had to play right. Gonzalez crosses midfield on that quick hit again. Second down and three. Here comes Pittman. Pittman uh, battled his way. He has five wide receivers with Pittman out. That means the offensive line doing a job. 
the middle to Santonio Holmes. There's two tackles right together. And uh, the quarter comes to an end. And he almost broke it, but Prescott Burgess hanging on. Carpenter on crutches. That does not look good. That does not look like he'll be back today, Gary. Yeah, and, uh, what a shame. I, I think it's great of him to get, get out here, though. He, he, him on the sideline, making sure, it, at least emotionally, he stays in the football game for his teammates. But, uh, you know, he's had those foot problems all year. And it's always been able to tape up. This one, obviously, you can't tape up. And you can see he is emotionally in tears right there. And uh, Woods replaces Woodley. Smith oh. again firing high to Pittman. Atek could vault to fourth. That's an automatic BCS berth. Second down and ten. Smith dancing away from trouble. And this time, so the Buckeye offensive line has been superb. Michigan now will try three down linemen. Frost makes a fine grab. 47's his career long, each of the last three years. Long enough. He's got it. Ties his career long, and like Gary said, makes up for that missed extra point. That's Manningham coming in motion for Henny. They empty the backfield out. Henny to the air, and here is Bass. A pro scout came. Here's Hart. Very unusual for him Mike to run Hart. up the back of his offensive lineman. Third and short. Paul, the lead fullback, is it offset. Hart will follow him. Trips, stumbles forward, and it is going to be close. Once he just kind of keeps inching forward. Avant and Bruston are off to one side. There is Hart, and he is tripped up by Schlegel. Nasakoy's off to the left. Bruston's there too. Henny in trouble. Penalty flag is thrown on the play. And Henny out of bounds, but Carr not happy about this call. Like holding. I hear it was Hennigy guilty of holding. So the ball is brought back on the Wolverines to the 22 yard line. And here in the early going, the Buckeyes have had the upper hand offensively and defensively. Here's Hart again trying to search for daylight. Avant, Breston. And A.J. Hawk read the screen all over. Again and Santonio Holmes. And they figure to give the Buckeyes field position even with a fair catch. Ryan is down inside the 10 yard line into a little bit of a breeze here in Ann Arbor. This is Holmes. Ginn will pick up the first gunner, but Holmes is taken down here in 69 against a first-year coach and lost when they were unbeaten. Fumble, and the Wolverines pounce on it. Their football. First turnover of the game. Gabe Watson. Three wideouts off to the left. Hart the running back. Avant is the lone receiver to the right. No tight end here. And Henny is going to throw on first down. Going to go for it all. Manningham trips incomplete. Manningham goes through the formation. Massacoy tries to run free. And they hit Manningham short of that 30 yard line. Henny fires. Bruston's got it. That's a first down. Ohio. Here is Hart. Bucking straight ahead. He won that first one. In motion is Bruster. And he takes his time. Can't find anybody open. Drops to Bruston, who's out of bounds. But he's across the 20-yard line. Avant is off to the left of the formation. Fires it underneath to Bruston. There's a first down. Michigan trailing it by nine. Quick throw to Manning. Beats the defender, and he's... Breston in behind Henning. Here comes Hart. And he was hit initially in the backfield by Marcus Green. Now it is third down. 
Slant, high, incomplete. Here comes fourth down. There's the penalty. That will be a first and goal. Pass interference, defense number 26. Mike Hart has been struggling to find daylight against the Buckeye front. Throwing the fade. Avon's got it. Touchdown, Michigan. A beautiful throw by Chad Henney that time. The defensive back, Gary, might have thought he was going to run that quick slant again, and he cut back outside on him. I'll tell you, this just takes a lot of repetitions from the receiver and the quarterback. You can't see Avon on this one, but Chad Henney knows it's going to be a fake slant and the fade to the outside. It's one of those plays. It... He does. Guys, that leaves it at two. Troy Smith fires to Gonzalez, and Gonzalez is out to the 34-yard line for a first down. And Tyree gives him an extra blocker against Branch. So they're trying to get a lineman matchup there. And Pittman, Lamar Woodley. Second down, fake from Troy Smith, sprints to the right. Now he's going to keep it. Branch from behind, and he eludes him for a first down. Chris Graham back in at linebacker. Burgess wants to come on this play from the right side of the formation. And Pittman is hit in the hole. Smith, middle, dropped by Ted Ginn Jr. Trying to give the Wolverines a pass rush. Smith. Throws it to Ginn on the sideline. Got Very ballyhooed prospect checks in at that position. They move Smith immediately under center. They don't have him with a shotgun snap. Smith tries to break free, and bringing him down is number 56, Woodley. Back-to-back -back plays, Jim Trestle has put his tight end with his freshman tackle. That's coaching, guys. Here's Pittman dancing around that side. 15. And brought down short of the 10-yard line to the 12-yard line. The three-step drop. Smith's going to take off. Woodley couldn't get to him. And he's across the 10-yard line. Again to the left. From the shotgun option look, here comes Pittman. Burgess comes up beautifully at the 9-yard line. Wolverine's trying to blitz. Hit him on the release. And it is fourth down. Here's Houston. He's hit a 47-yarder earlier today. He nailed that one. So he is two for two kicking field goals despite the missed extra point. Hart, and it has been tough going in just 11 straight quarters. True early, freshman. I believe it was against Iowa. So Kevin Grady, the true freshman, he's got a pass block. And he steps away and has to throw it away. Holmes calls for Ginn to take it. He'll get the first gunner. The ball, loose ball. The scramble is on. Boy, Teddy Ginn has really struggled this year on punt returns. He dropped it, then tried to pick it up and run again, and, and he was saved. save it now. And he was saved. Holmes off to the left. White, the H-back, tries to help him with the corner. Pittman tries to cut behind him. Gonzalez, Hall, and Holmes also split out. Fires to Ginn to the 32. Holmes to the left. Smith will throw for it. Woodley hits him from behind. Loose ball. Michigan's got it. Michigan recovers as Woodley battled his way in. The second Buckeye turnover of this game. Michigan scored its touchdown after the first one. Henny getting time firing. <laughs> Running back in place of Hart. The Wolverines may elect to keep it in the air, and they do. Gets away from Hawk. And Henney gets almost to the five. Nassikoy and Preston to the left. They'll run Grady behind him. Grady stood up and stopped at the five by Quinn Pitcock. No. On him. Now Henney will bring the tight end Ecker in. Tighter on the, he'll call timeout. No, delay a game. He didn't get it this time. Did not get it. It'll cost him, and that's big. Here's your third and goal. 
Avant out to the right. Bruston is the slot. Ecker, the tight ends on the left side. Manningham, the freshman, is there too. Penny over the top, incomplete for Ecker. Gutierrez is the holder. Right there. That was a huge response by the Buckeye defense following the turnover. Remember, it was first and goal. It was Woodley who battled in. Four down linemen this time. Woodley's over on the left. Pittman. And Pittman for about three yards. A big day of college football still coming up. Here is Troy Smith firing complete to Frost, the tight end, for a first down. Uh, they would like to get an at large. Incomplete. Holmes. The Holmes to the right. And they run Pittman, and it'll be third down and long. Smith from the gun to Ken. Trent hits him first. And down he goes. Trapasso and Bruston is back deep. Into the breeze. The breeze shortened it up, but it takes a Buckeye bounce or two. And it'll roll inside the 20 yard line. Now Chad Henning with Grady still his running back. And here comes Grady on the screen pass. He is brought down from behind by Quinn Pitcock. This crowd of 100,000 plus, and, uh, and she's seeing him for the first time playing football. She should be very proud, Jack. He's a fine young man. And he firing, and he's got Ecker ridden out of bounds. You can see averaging only a yard a carry rushing against A.J. Hawk and friends. Trying it again with Bass. Henny straight back. Middle and great coverage. He's got him identified. He's on the right side. Pocket collapsing and he is sacked. And again both standing at about the 34 yard line. Ryan Booms it off and they punt right to Ginn. Drops it again. Loose ball. Holmes goes back and pounces on it and saved the day at the 11-yard line. Wolverines almost had it. Branch is moved to the inside by the Wolverines. Burgess is coming from a stand-up linebacker spot. They throw Pittman the screen and Branch tracks it down at the 18-yard line. Crable standing up against the third down out of the gun again incomplete. Gang will have it. They'll set the table for Penn State, Michigan State. Not a good punt. Michigan needs to stay away from it. They'll have field position. First and ten after the short punt. Fakes the screen, comes the other way to Bruston. Bruston for a first down. Number 83 is into the game. He's been in now for a couple of plays. H back look from him. Paul is there. Power for Grady who cuts it back. And Schlegel again into the point of attack. Here's Henny. Firing complete. Preston's got a first down. A fierce competitor. Protection in zone. Avon can't hold on. Best interference. Defense number six. The ball will be placed at the two yard line. Automatic first down. This first down and goal. Brady's behind Paul. They'll go to the freshman. Touchdown. Michigan leads it. Two-point play, Gary. Yeah, what do they do? Do they fade again out here? Ecker is off the line. He's going to take off. Can he get there? Yes! He broke the tackle from Marcus Green near the goal line and carried it across. The option to Pittman. Paul closes in to the 31 yard line and it will be second down. Woodley down on the left side. They'll run away from him with Pittman. Burgess. 
There's Pittman again and uh, Woodley from behind. In the first possession missed the extra point. Two field goals. Michigan scored, but they put up 11 points here in the third quarter. Second and six. Troy Smith on a quarterback draw, trying to pick up the uh, first down. And Terrible special team play. Yeah, that's a that's a very good point because we rate them one of the best special teams. The Gabe Watson is cocked on Mangold. Smith will drop it off to the safety valve, and Pittman picks up another first down on Minnesota. On first down and ten, Pittman into the middle, and Branch will move down in on the inside. There'll be three down. Crable will stand up in that gap. Second down and long. Smith and incomplete. Here's your third down. Smith going to drop it off to Pittman, trying to get the first down, and a Give it to him. So Houston. Off to the right. Will it come back across? It will not. Left it off to the right. And the Wolverines lead it by six. Guys okay, just missed a field goal. Chad Henney with Brady is running back. He drops it off to him. And Schlegel. And he's going to drop it off as he was going down. Reston's off to the left. Manningham goes through the formation to the Wolverines. Henny on a beautifully designed play hands it off. Schlegel's getting ready to make a running leap at the quarterback. Both tackles pinch in. Stepped over and got it. Who's made the right calls in the second half? Is that a lateral out of bounds? Second down. So our replay official it did not stop it. There is Grady, the freshman, and somehow Manningham through the formation. Here's Henny. They're going to try to throw for it. High it sailed on him, and Preston can't get the handle. Holding defense, double 51. 10 yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. It was Henny dances to the pocket. Going to fire deep, Manningham got it inside the 10 yard line. Manningham's got it, it's first and goal. Goes away from the football. That should have been first stopped. First and goal, and here comes Brady stepping to the left, just Brady short of the five. Carries. On a gamble. And he is going to throw under pressure. Throws it away, incomplete. Stenovich back in at left tackle quarterback draw Henny. Not gonna get there. It's from the right hash. And he slaps it through. That's a nine-point advantage here. Pulls back off of the fake. Steps it up, and he's got Gonzalez. Gonzalez at the Wolverine 40. He has played well. First down and 10 for him now. Looking back to the left, hit on uh -oh. the release, incomplete. Engelman was back there in center field. Here Woods is down. Woodley's down on the right side. Smith incomplete, one and Hall on third down and ten. Smith, he'll take off. Can he get the first down? Battled ahead. What? Again, is off to his right. Crable standing up. Middle. Holmes has got a touchdown, Buckeyes. Well, they're going to call a celebration dive. Now, how does the official know that San Antonio Holmes didn't think he needed to do that to score? You what? know I don't like that. That, that. That's that is. I think that's one that they should get together and talk about and say, come on, this is a pretty big game. It's not coming off the board, I'll tell you that. And of course, Lloyd on Carr's going to take it on the kickoff. No question. Unfortunately, conduct after the touchdown, number seven on the offense. The touchdown is good. The 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. And remember, make it a piece of it. Houston's missed one extra point, but not that one. That was nailed right in the middle, wasn't it? Here's it that option play two, two. again, back to Holmes. He's running the same play that was overthrown before. This time, a perfect throw. Splits the defenders, and with, you can 
see a Derringer closing on him right there. I think you got to err in favor of the player thinking he had to score. Engelman just can't turn his hips quickly enough at that safety spot that uh, you just have to teach him not to go in. But there definitely was a safety coming over. Now, from the 20, this is returnable. They keep it out of Bruston's hands. They put it in the big fullback's hands. Rumble fumble! Ball is loose. Let's let them sort it out. The Buckeyes think they've got it. And the signal is the Wolverines recovered. The first Ecker, the tight end on the right side of the formation. Remember, Massacoy was shaken up. Avant comes through the formation. Play fake by Henny. Sprints hard, drops, and it's dropped by Massey. They are used to these tight football games. And this year, Michigan. Here comes Henny. Firing. They put it into Bruston's hands again, and Bruston. All right, John, and here it is a first down for Henny. Toss play to the freshman. Brady can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Avon to the right side. Annie Ham's out to the left. Massacoy's still out. He was shaken up. Henny trying to find somebody who's open to throw this one away. Here comes that flanker screen. Preston dashes. This, if they were to kick it, it'd be 51. Let's see if he pooches it. The Buckeyes are bouncing back. They saw it. Here it comes. Good call. Out of bounds, Gary, but that's uh, that's great defensive field position if you. Game with the way they played special teams, the injury to Carpenter, they have an opportunity to win. They've got the wind, but they're in the teeth of a crowd, and in hanging on as he goes out of bounds. Punted when they've had to. They've changed defenses, been a well-coached game. Pittman slashing ahead. Here's Smith. Great time incomplete. Second down, need 10. Smith tries to spin away, does, fires, got it. Into Tit Inn's hands. Here's Smith. Steps up, Ginn's got a one-handed catch. Holmes falling out of bounds with a first down at the 47-yard line. And of course, Joe Paul, 78 years old, can win a share of the title at least and go to the BCS Bowl. Got Holmes, couldn't split him, hanging on to Mason. Under center. He's going to take off. And he is tackled by the safety angle. Again, is off to the left. First blitz in a while. Smith into the teeth of his homes and down at the 30. It's a good thing he went down. Branch is in the middle. First down and 10. The offensive line has done a great job. Smith dances away from trouble. On the run. Gonzalez inside the five yard line. Gonzalez may have made the biggest catch of the year for the Buckeyes. 26 yards. And Smith always dangerous to run inside that 10 yard line. Looking for it. Slashes to the three yard line. Smith is up under center. Here's Pittman. Banging touchdown. But there's 24 seconds up on the clock. The Buckeye sideline explodes. But now with the wind at the back, they need Houston, and they don't need a celebration penalty. That is the one thing they've got to avoid here. Yeah, the other one hurt them badly, and this time they have to go for two to try to get it to 27-21, make it a six-point play. So Troy Smith up under center. Looking for the draw, and now the receiver, and broken up. Brady will have to look for the pressure. 24 seconds, needing a touchdown. Henny fires middle. Avon first down, stops the clock right there at the 42-yard line. Reminds me of the 2002 game that ended like this, with Michigan having the ball and driving. They wanted to stop it. Second down and 10. Three wide for Henny. He's got time. We'll take the sideline. They've got, to, he's got to get out of bounds. Cannot. The clock is running. And the 
Final seconds. Yep. The mistake. Buckeyes are going home with the W. Jim Trestle is four and one against Lloyd Carr, who goes across to congratulate him. The Buckeyes would go on to the Fiesta Bowl, where they would defeat Notre Dame 34 to 20 and finish the season ranked fourth in the nation. The Wolverines would close their season with a 32 to 28 Alamo Bowl loss to Nebraska and finished outside of the top 25.